topic in InDesign, and that is how to insert page numbers. Now, I talked about master pages, which is going to come into this uh, equation in a few previous videos. I'm going to pop the link up uh, up at the top that you can access the master pages video there because you're going to need to know a little bit about them in order to do page numbers in InDesign. So what I've done is I have a document here, and it's got two masters uh, essentially being used. I have my covers master for my front and my back covers and then I have a master called inside pages which is used for any inside pages of the document in this case just two spreads page two and three and four and five. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to put page numbers. I want to insert the page numbers on page two, three, four, and five. Well they're based on the inside pages master so naturally I would go there to add the page numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on the inside pages master that's going to pull up the master here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text box now <clears throat> you can put the text box wherever you want the page numbers to go uh, in this case I'm just gonna make it uh, a lot bigger so we can actually see the page numbers without me having to zoom in on each page but for your purposes you can format it however you'd like keeping in mind we're on the master page right now so with my cursor blinking uh, in a text box where I'd want to put the page number what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the type menu and under the type menu I'm going to choose insert special character markers and then choose current page number you can see here that alt shift control n is the keyboard shortcut that's going to work and I realize it's a long way to go to do something simple like inserting a page number but that's where they have it okay so the type menu insert special character markers current page number when you choose that it puts in the prefix of the master page so I've made the prefix of this master page IN so it puts IN in the box it's just displaying the code essentially now that only handles the left hand page because this is a two page layout so right now if I went back to my pages panel and I went back to my document you'll see on page two I have the page number but over on page three here there's nothing there and that's because I haven't put it on the other side of the spread. You'll notice page 4 has number 4, so the numbering is working. I just have to kind of complete it now. So in order to do this, uh, you don't actually have to go through that whole procedure again. You could just copy and paste this text box. That's going to work just fine. But for the sake of example, I'm just going to go through it one more time. So I'm going to create a text box on this side. I'm just going to bump up the font so we can all see it. Type menu, insert special character, markers, current page number it puts in the prefix again we can change whatever formatting we'd want about that text box font size all that stuff positioning of course would be important we can position it uh, you know below outside the margins wherever you want the page numbers to appear so now if I were to go check my document any pages that were based on that master in this case page two and three and page four and five now have the page numbers showing up the first page, in this case, the front cover is based on the covers master. That doesn't have the page number showing up because I didn't put them on that master. And that's the same with the back cover. Now, if you need more information about page numbering or you want to be able to control page number formats, we'll talk about document sectioning. That's going to come up in another video. And I have the link up in the card section of this video. So if you need to access it, you can find it there.